the overdue collapse of short-term rentals. Once a booming $100 million industry, short-term rentals transformed the entire global tourism and housing. But now, they are facing a long-anticipated collapse due to regulations, too many rentals, and changing economic trends. It's a dramatic shift from their initial promise as a fun alternative to hotels, showing the complexities and challenges inherent in this short-term industry. So, let's dive into this video today to understand why short-term rentals are falling out of favor with customers, governments, and hosts. Here we begin with a journey through the rise and fall of this once-thriving market. Airbnb Renters Recently, you might have heard about a big decision made by one of the most popular short-term rental platforms, Airbnb. The company where people rent out their homes or rooms to travelers has permanently banned parties and noisy events. They have said that they will no longer allow big parties or noisy events in their rentals. This rule, which was temporary before, will now stay forever. It seems shocking, but this decision ensures a peaceful environment for hosts and guests. They want to encourage more people to offer their homes for rent, which will help ease the housing problem in many places. But the question arises, what led to this sudden decision? When we look into the matter deeply, some recent investigations reveal significant unpaid debts by Airbnb, amounting to tens or possibly hundreds of millions or even over a billion dollars. That's huge. And such a massive financial burden was not visible before, raising further concerns about the company's fiscal responsibility. To understand the entirety of this collapse, let's know it in detail. Airbnb's journey began when its founders, Brian Chesky and Joe Jebbia, faced a housing shortage during a conference. Attempting to rent out a spare room with an air mattress, they created Airbed and Breakfast, which later evolved into the renowned Airbnb. People love the idea of Airbnb because it offers cheaper options than hotels. It also allowed homeowners to make extra money by renting out their spare rooms or entire properties. Today, Airbnb surpasses the combined worth of major hotel chains like Hilton and Wyndham. But now, some problems with Airbnb need fixing. These problems affect four groups, which are, first, the people who use Airbnb, the customers. Second, the homeowners who rent out their homes, hosts. Third, the communities where the rentals are located, public. And lastly, the Airbnb company itself, platform. Issue with hosts. First, when it comes to hosts, Undoubtedly, Airbnb was a great way to make money from their homes. They could rent out their extra rooms to travelers for more money than having a long-term roommate. But then, you can risk that they are the type of person who is messy, loud, or doesn't pay, and clashes with your personality. However, those short-term guests were easier to deal with than the long-term ones, as any problems only lasted as long as their stay. Besides this, the payments were handled through the Airbnb platform, making transactions safe and secure. Also, a rating system is in place that helps control lousy behavior, ensuring a good experience for hosts and guests. Lastly, if you ever need your space for yourself, whether it's because family is coming over or you want a quiet week, you can easily block out those dates on the app. Initially, appealing to adventurous travelers sharing spare rooms, Airbnb evolved as most users rented entire properties, becoming lucrative for owners. While short-term rentals brought such financial benefits, they required more effort for cleaning and had less consistent income predictability. Despite challenges, short-term rentals, especially in cities and tourist areas, remain popular. Some landlords, known as Airbnb barons, devised methods to streamline property management. They installed remote-controlled keypad locks, opted for easy-to-clean services, and affordable yet chic furnishings, and favored properties with minimal landscaping. These tactics aim to cut down on effort and boost profits. However, despite these efforts, the era of effortless Airbnb profits eventually ended. Further, to expand its hosting, Airbnb encouraged more people to become hosts just as much as it did for guests. Investors saw an opportunity and started buying multiple homes to rent them out on Airbnb. Some hosts turned managing their Airbnb properties into a full-time job, like running a hotel. Others took a more straightforward route by hiring real estate agents in touristy areas to work their short-term rentals for a higher fee. The extra money from short-term rentals made it easier for hosts to qualify for more home loans, leading to buying more properties. However, this also caused the market to become oversaturated with Airbnb rentals. 
hosts began to struggle to find enough guests to make renting out their properties worthwhile. Besides these, the short-term rentals also made long-term rentals more expensive, reducing the gap in profitability between the two. For many hosts, managing short-term rentals no longer seemed worth the added risk and effort. Some hosts, who relied on the high short-term rental income to cover their loans, could be compelled to sell their properties. Understanding the Rise and Fall of Short-Term Rental To understand why short-term rentals became popular but eventually failed for many hosts, we need to know how money works, which is all about the importance of financial literacy in navigating real estate investments. So, traditional hotels were becoming expensive and didn't always meet the needs of travelers. While hotels offer amenities like room service, gyms, and pools, these extras come with a hefty price tag. Moreover, these services might not align with what travelers genuinely desire, which is a cozy place that feels like home in a new city. It appealed to Airbnb, offering a different experience by focusing on what vacationers wanted. They provided amenities like a kitchen and multiple bedrooms, giving guests a sense of privacy and comfort that hotels couldn't match. Staying in an Airbnb felt like staying in someone's home, which was often more affordable, especially for groups traveling together. A study by the University of Waterloo and Daniel Gutentag Hospitality Research proved it by comparing Airbnb to traditional hotels. It found that 61% of respondents chose Airbnb for its budget-friendly prices, even over budget hotel chains. Despite Airbnb's marketing focus on connecting with local hosts, more guests preferred having the entire home to themselves, avoiding sharing space with strangers. Let's now focus on the changes in Airbnb's competitiveness. Airbnb's success is facing challenges in three key areas. Firstly, it's no longer the affordable option it once was. It now competes with premium five-star hotels rather than budget options. Despite a 70% increase in bookings since 2019, Airbnb's global booking value has risen by 67%, indicating a shift towards higher prices. Secondly, Airbnb's monopoly on homes away from home is eroding as hotel chains offer more apartment-style accommodations. Semi-service apartments, offering larger rooms with kitchens, appeal to guests desiring a homely experience without traditional hotel services. Customers prefer them for a mix of hotel reliability and Airbnb affordability. However, some hosts experiencing more cleaning from guests tarnish Airbnb's reputation, causing dissatisfaction and potential extra fees. As a middleman platform, Airbnb relies on positive experiences from both hosts and guests. However, negative experiences in terms of service, quality, and cleanliness can deter customers and harm the company's direction. The Issue with Homeowners and Communities Another group negatively affected by the rise of Airbnb is residents who face housing challenges. The profitability of short-term rentals has led landlords to prioritize vacationers over long-term tenants, resulting in rising rental prices and decreased availability of affordable housing. To address these issues, some cities have implemented regulations requiring hosts to register their properties and pay additional taxes. Others have outright banned short-term rentals without proper licensing. Homeowners associations are also cracking down on short-term rentals due to concerns about noise, security, and disturbances to residential communities. Despite regulations, many hosts continue to operate illegally, accepting fines as part of their business costs. In cities like Los Angeles, a significant portion of short-term rental listings are illegal, resulting in potential fines amounting to millions of dollars. Airbnb invests significant amounts of money in legal battles worldwide to defend its right to operate. This is why they continue to heavily advertise their service as a way to experience a new city with a local host, even though most properties are rented out as entire homes without interactions with the host. Regulating shared short-term stays is challenging, as they can be difficult to distinguish from friends staying together. The cozy image of sharing a bedroom with travelers is more appealing than the reality of wealthy property investors listing multiple homes. The issue with the platform Moreover, Airbnb faces challenges controlling guests, hosts, and public perception. Competitors like VRBO have always existed. However, now established travel sites like TripAdvisor and Expedia are entering the short-term rental market through new platforms or integrating them into existing ones. Some hosts find it cheaper to advise through local agencies and share the savings with guests bypassing Airbnb's fees. Despite its profitability, 
Compared to other peer-to-peer -peer platforms, Airbnb lacks a solid competitive advantage. While it has brand recognition, new entrants can quickly enter the market and offer better services or lower fees. Airbnb's business model, although profitable, lacks longevity and is vulnerable to competition. Airbnb's rapid success has primarily benefited its founders and early investors without long-term sustainability in mind. While this isn't necessarily negative, those seeking businesses with lasting power may find Airbnb lacking. Businesses with more enduring qualities are worth considering for long-term investment. Well, this was all about the collapse of short-term rentals. What do you think of such a massive collapse? Share your views in the comment below and subscribe for more such videos.